probably heard the names of these notorious con men. But do you know which criminals are the richest in history? If that answer is yes, then please stay tuned. Hi guys, this is Jose Enrico from Modern Luxury and today let's talk about the top 10 richest smugglers of all time. And before we get started, make sure you click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Number 10. Frank Lucas Frank Lucas has been capsized off in the heroin trade in the 1960s and 1970s by using an East Asian connection during the Vietnam War, cutting off the Italian mafia who controlled the trade in his Harlem at the time. Lucas was originally from North Carolina, employed members of his family to take over the heroin trade in New York and New Jersey, and was claimed to have sold $1 million worth of heroin a day in his prime and claimed to have a net worth of over $52 million on top of a large supply of liquid assets, namely heroin. Ridley Scott even made a film. Family. Never forgetting where we came from. The American Gangster in 2007 that he based on the criminal career of Frank Lucas. It was Denzel Washington who starred as Lucas in the movie and dramatized his life as a New York City drug dealer in the 1960s and 70s. Number 9. Griselda Blanco Griselda Blanco is also known as the Black Widow or the Cocaine Queen of Miami. She was a drug lord for the Colombian Medellin Cartel. She started her life in Colombia, lived for a time in New York City, and later moved to Miami. Blanco controlled the cocaine trade through violence and intimidation, making $80 million a month during the 70s and 80s. Reports claim that at her peak, Griselda Blanco had more than a half a billion dollars. And after serving 10 years in jail on drug charges, Blanco returns to native Colombia. Nevertheless, no matter where she lives, she will still be a major cocaine kingpin who earned roughly $2 billion to be one of the richest drug dealers ever before her 2012 death. Number 8. Al Capone Alfonso Gabriel Capone, sometimes known by the nickname Scarface, was an American gangster and businessman who attained notoriety during the Prohibition era as the co-founder and boss of the Chicago Outfit. He is considered as one of the most notorious gangsters of all time, and during his Prohibition, Capone controlled the illegal alcohol, prostitution, and gambling rackets in Chicago, which brought in $100 million a year at its prime. Capone's money allowed him to bribe police officials, judge, and even the mayor of Chicago, but unfortunately, he could not bribe the IRS who convicted him of tax evasion in 1932 and sentenced him to 11 years in prison. Number 7. Joaquin El Chapo Guzman Loera Joaquin El Chapo Guzman Loera is one of Mexico's most infamous drug lords and also considered as the richest criminal of all time. El Chapo is the head of the Sinaloa cartel which smuggles in billions of dollars from Colombia through Mexico and into the United States. He became rich enough to make Forbes list of 1,000 wealthiest people in the world, as well as their top 60 most powerful people in the world, with a net worth of over $5 billion. El Chapo was jailed in 1993, but escaped from prison in 2001, and is currently number one of the FBI's most wanted list with a $5 million award for his capture. Number 6. Anthony Fat Tony Salerno Anthony Fat Tony Salerno was an American mobster who served as the underboss and front boss of the Genovese crime family in New York City from 1981 until his conviction in 1986. Salerno made his millions running the numbers and drug racket in East Harlem after most other Italian mobsters left the area as it became more black and Latino in the 1960s, making tens of millions of dollars and as the frontman for the Genovese crime family. Salermo was named America's top gangster by Fortune magazine in 1986 due to his wealth of more than $1 billion and in influence. And in 1988, Salermo was convicted of reckoning charges and was sentenced to 70 years in prison. Number 5. Carlos Ledher Carlos Enrique Ledher Rivas is a German Colombian former drug lord who is also a co founder of the Medellin Cartel. He was released from prison in the United States after 33 years in 2020. While in prison, Ledher met Boston-born drug trafficker George Jung, 
who helped him import and distribute cocaine from his native Colombia into the United States, accumulating $2.7 billion. Cocaine made Ledhurst so rich that he owned his own island in the Bahamas and offered to pay off Columbia's debt and Ledhurst would eventually be extradited to the United States and sentenced to life in prison which was reduced after he agreed to testify against former Panamanian President Manuel Noriega in 1992. Number 4. Mayor Lansky Mayor Lansky is a Jewish immigrant from Poland who would make a fortune out of gambling, both legal and illegal. He joined the notorious gangsters Char Lucky Luciano and Ben Bugsy Schigel to run a gang that is known as Murder Inc. Lansky would later turn to focus on gambling setting up operations in Florida, Las Vegas, and Cuba before the Cuban Revolution. He was indicted for tax evasion and fled to Israel and later returned to the US to face charges and was acquitted in 1974. In 1982, Forbes named him as one of the 400 richest people in America, and Lansky died a free man in Miami at age 83. Number 3. Joseph Kennedy Joseph Kennedy is a patriarch of one of America's most powerful and prestigious families, and one of his sons became president. Another became district attorney, a presidential candidate, and another a senator. Kennedy was one of the richest men in America, but as the saying goes, Behind every great fortune, there is a great crime. He was already in the liquor business before prohibition, but according to several books and gangsters, became a bootlegger with ties to New York and Chicago underworlds after liquor was made illegal. After his probation, Kennedy made a fortune through selling legitimate liquor as well as through Hollywood and the stock market and was named as one of the 20 richest people in America in 1954 by Fortune magazine and had a net worth of more than $300 million which would be in the high billions today. Number 2. Pablo Escobar Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviria was a Colombian drug lord and narco-terrorist who was the founder and sole leader of the Medellin cartel. Escobar is considered one of the most notorious drug lords of the modern era. He was the one who ran the Medellin cartel, which imported billions of dollars of cocaine into the United States. His money brought him great power, he was able to bribe officials or have them killed if they wouldn't take his bribes. Forbes magazine named Escobar the 7th richest man in the world with a net worth of $25 billion. And in 1993, Escobar was killed by Colombian forces with US assistance after he escaped from Colombian prison. Number 1. Amado Carrillo Fuentes Amado Carrillo Fuentes was a Mexican drug lord who seized control of the Juarez cartel. After assassinating his boss, Rafael Aguilar Guajardo, he became known as the Lord of the Skies. Because of the large fleet of jets he used to transport drugs, including 22 private 727 jet airliners, which were used to import cocaine from Colombia to Mexico, where it was later smuggled into the United States. Fuentes had an estimated net value of $25 billion, almost twice as much as Facebook's founder, Mark Zuckerberg and the DEA called him the most powerful drug trafficker of his era. Fuentes died while undergoing plastic surgery to alter his appearance in 1997. That's it for today guys. If you want to see more about celebrities or other luxurious lifestyles, please do check the other videos on this channel. And consider hitting on like, subscribe, and share to be updated on our latest videos. See you on our next video.